I've long been a fan of uh, tubeless tyres, firstly on the mountain bike. I can remember uh, converting standard tyres to tubeless back around 2002-2003, so I've uh, been using it for a long, long time. On the road, also quite quick to adapt. Uh, first wheel set and set of tyres I can remember getting was a set of Schwalbe Ultremos uh, in tubeless form. So over the years I've used lots and lots of different tubeless tyres, but what I've been really keen to test recently is different sealants. I've got three sealants available, so I thought I'd do a quick test. I've got a bit of an old, uh, quite worn Continental GP5000 tubeless tyre here, and I'm going to set it up so that we purposely puncture it and uh, do different types of, of holes on it to see which sealants work best. The three sealants I've got are a Stans race sealant, I've got a Hutchinson Max sealant and Effetto uh, Cafe Latex. So three different styles of, of sealant and I'm um, going to see, see which one performs best on a, on a road bike tyre. So the plan I've got is quite simple. I've got two different uh, spikes essentially. One is just a pin from a, from a badge thanks to Ralph Cycling for this one. And then I've got a panel pin just into a bit of wood. The tyre is pumped up to 80 psi. I'll keep that the same for all, all the different punctures. And then after each one I'll mark where they are. And uh, I'm also going to keep so that they, they are in um, an area that's not too worn at present. So the first one will be direct, a small pin directly into the main tread of the tyre. The second one will be a fatter, this panel pin, also into the centre of the tyre. The third type for each one will be into the sidewall. Uh, my experience is that's the most difficult for a sealant to, um, to, to try and seal. Just because of where it is, sometimes the sealant's on the edge of the tyre. So we'll see how that performs. If at any point there's um, one puncture that doesn't fully seal, I'll put the pressure back to 80 psi for, for each different one. If it seals pretty quickly, I'll just puncture it again. And for each one, I'll make sure that the wheel is spun nicely so we've got a good, uh, some, the sealant is around in, a, in an even area. First one. So that doesn't seem to have had any effect. Just mark exactly where that was. Second one, this is the panel pin with Stan's race. Okay, so that's not done anything. Spin it around. Okay, that was quite successful. Seems to have stopped that almost straight away. And I'll just mark where that is. Yeah, that looks as if that's sealed. Third one, which is the pin into the sidewall. I can hear that there's definitely some air coming out of that. Still air coming out, I'll give it a really good spin. just about see it there and it is still bubbling out of the tire so that at the moment has not sealed oh as i've said that that seems to have sealed now if i had this in a real world situation you can take the wheel off and put it so that it's faced down to try and get the sealant down but actually that seems to have that seems to have worked so that's three out of three four Stands race. Test number two. This has now got a Hutchinson sealant in here. 
to give it a spin. So we'll just go go here. So the tiniest little fizz. Make a mark. That seems to have sealed that. It's just there. I'd be amazed if any sealer, if it didn't hold this, then uh, it's, to be honest, not a very good sealant. So that seems to have worked. Next up, Hutchinson with the pin, the panel pin. A hiss, stick to the bottom, you can hear that hissing. Quick spin. It's leaked a bit of sealant, but I think that's sealed. I'm just going to mark this. That seems to have worked. Third one on the Hutchinson into the sidewall. And I'll just mark where that is. That actually seemed really good. Less leakage than the stands even. Considering how little is in there, I'd say that overall that's really good. Seems really good. So first one there, larger one there, and then sidewall just there. Yeah, not bad. This is the last sealant in there now. Got cafe latex. It's a very different type of sealant and it claims to sort of coat bubble up and coat the whole of the tire this there's only 30 mil in there that's what uh, cafe latex quote using their app so i'll give it a spin and find a good place yeah so it's back up to 80 psi pin in first Uh, just mark where that is. That looks successful. Now I'm going to do the larger panel pin with the cafe latex. Let's go in here. A lot of air coming out. Oh, all right. Just quickly show you how much stuff has sprouted out. So if you can see that white on the floor, that's the only one of the three to have really done that. But it has sealed bring it back up see what it looks like so that's that's the hole here it does appear to have sealed not too much pressure loss just a lot of fluid last one with the cafe latex side hole side wall puncture you can hear that leaking a lot of air coming out spin it a bit faster That doesn't seem to be stopping. Yeah, a lot of air coming out. Still leaking out here. Sometimes you can force it to seal by holding your finger over it. Not in this case. So the very last of the air is pretty much leaking out now. 
what I also noticed as the air was coming out is the main hole, the biggest one here, that was also leaking, but that's the one that's caused the damage. Um, what I am going to try is I've got this Cafe Latex Zot. Now, it is something that you then push into the tyre to make it seal. Uh, my Well, I don't think it's great to have to add something to it, but let's try it. So I'm going to pump the tyre back up and add that. That's the air going back in. The force seems quite tricky. Right. <laughs> I'd say that's a fail. Now, uh, even worse. So, overall. Not great. <laughs> yeah, this, you're supposed to pour it in. All that happened was uh, this canister just filled up with air because of the air being pushed out of that hole. And I think that might now have sealed. Yeah, it's still bubbling out. So, yeah, maybe it has sealed now, but still, that's not great. I'll put it back up to 80, just to test. So now, back up to 80 PSI, and now that is actually holding air. Uh, it's a massive faff, but that has worked. So maybe the Zot is worth carrying if you do use Cafe Latex. One, uh, one last thing on the Cafe Latex. I've just taken the tyre off. And you can see inside, this wasn't there before. And this area in particular, I think this must have been where the puncture was. That's where the zot has gone in. There's a lot of um, sealant in there. You see th this area in particular, there's a big build up there. This must have been where the zot has gone in. So you can see how it's worked, but uh, it's just a big mess left by the tire. A quick little summary of my thoughts from, from these three tested. First of all, Cafe Latex. I'm not overly impressed with this. It wouldn't seal the sidewall hole. And um, even though it did with that Zot, it just means you've got to carry something extra. It's an extra little bit of faff, which is, you know, the whole idea of going tubeless is to have a simpler solution. If you're having to add things when you get a puncture, um, I don't think that's ideal for this road tire at least. I think it's a case of it can't handle the pressure um, that that a road tire is under with 80 psi. Next up, uh, stands race. So this, I've been personally using this for for a long time. It has some downsides. I know it dries out a lot quicker. So you have to add sealant um, occasionally to to keep liquid inside the tire. Also, it tends to ball up into these little furry balls inside, which isn't ideal, and they you can't remove them essentially. So over time, you get a little bit more buildup in that. But in terms of punctures, it's effective. Sealed all these three up really quickly, quite effectively, and. Um, there are very few instances that I can recall where this hasn't worked. Only one I can think of off the top of my head was with a on a gravel bike, gravel tire on a sidewall, and it was quite a big puncture. So this um, is something that I personally use and, and recommend. Last up, this is the Hutchinson. So I've had a few of these to test, and uh, so I haven't got any long-term experience of them. The the feeling and the uh, solution of it is quite similar to to the original stand so not the stands race but the original no tubes it's a sort of a latex feeling um solution which sort of dries when you when you're in your hand as you've seen in this only needs a small amount so you've only got 30 mil so it could probably go quite far for your money and it's been effective you know it's sealed that up instantly all three were sealed very very quickly so i'm impressed with with this and for me out of, it would be out of these two if you've got these three in mind. There are a lot of other sealants on the market which I can't test or haven't got to test. 
Uh, I know Orange Seal is one that gets recommended and the original stands solution, that's another one to try. Um, maybe I'll try and get some of those in another time to and do a similar test. But yeah, from, from what I've done, quite impressed. And um, yeah, I'm gonna definitely continue to use road tubeless because if it can seal those punctures and it's the size of that, that nail that I've been using the panel pin, that's, that's really impressive.